welcome to this presentation that will cover sow gestation nutrition. Sow nutrition during gestation is critical in the fact that we must make sure she is getting all the essential nutrients that are needed to have a good pregnancy. The feed requirements of the sow during gestation can be divided into three separate phases, early, middle, and late. Early gestation feeding of the gill just after mating differs from that of the mature sow in that ex excess feed intake during this period reduces embryo survival and potential litter size. It is recommended that gilts be fed 2 to 2.2 kilograms feed per day for a good quality early gestation period. On the other hand, in mature sows and especially in those that have lost considerable body reserves and body condition during lactation and post weaning, it is suggested that you can increase the feed allowance during early gestation to be beneficial for preventing loss of body reserves. In a recent study from 2011, Dr. Leah Hoving and others showed that the sows fed 3.25 kilograms per day of a gestation diet from day 3 to day 32 of gestation had larger litter sizes, 15.2 compared with 13.2, then sows fed the customary level of 2.5 kilograms per day. This extra feed helped the sow to promptly recover the body weight and condition that they had lost. It may also improve embryo and placental development throughout an increased availability of specific micronutrients such as iron, selenium, vitamin A, and folic acid. Middle gestation. In middle gestation, there is a 2.3 mJ per day increase in energy requirements, which can be met by a 0.15 to 0.2 kilograms per day increase in feed. Most of this increase is for maintenance and maternal body gain to ensure that the animal maintains a body condition score of 3 to 3.5. The requirements for memory development are still relatively small at this stage. However, it is during this period that primary and secondary muscle fibers are developing, which influence piglet birth weight and performance to slaughter. Muscle fiber number has been positively associated with higher birth weight, better post winning performance and enhancement meat quality throughout the results from several studies. Late gestation. In late pregnancy, when most of the fetal and mammary growth and development occurs, there is a significant increase in the nutrient needs of the cell. Fetal and mammary growth is markedly accelerated. In the last four to six weeks, fetal weight increases five-fold and mammary protein content 27-fold, increasing nutritional needs dramatically. For example, overall energy requirements increase by about 10 to 15 percent, but the specific requirement for conceptuous gain doubles. Each extra piglet produced requires an extra 50 grams of feed per day. Feed allowance should therefore be increased and it is common to provide an extra 0.3 to 0.5 kilograms during this period. Face feeding is a useful tool that is very important in keeping the gestation of the cell on the right track. The lack in proper nutrient requirements can affect your piglets and also your cell not only during pregnancy but also in lactation. In simple words, keep the sow happy during gestation and your piglet crop will be better. Thank you for your attention to this educational presentation.